So last night I was trying to remember good bulk renaming oh, utility that I had used previously because here I am sitting in LF. I had just downloaded like a video off of YouTube and I had it split out into chapters because YouTube DL P pretty awesome at like being able to split up chapters and all when it's provided. Because all of this is basically like music. I'd come across a video. I'm like, you know, I really like that. I want to have it. And I want to have the songs out separated so that I can use them individually or what have you, depending on the application. So I started looking at it like, okay, LF, what things do you have? So I went back to the documentation for LF. And there was a lot more on the GitHub for LF than I had previously seen. So, ba so it, this whole integration section is like much larger than it was before. And it just really blew me away like, what? That's pretty cool. So, and of course LF is pretty extendable being as you're basically using shell scripts or whatever scripts are, you c whatever to, integrate new functionality into it but it's like ev people had added way more to it than there was previously so like i can go down to ranger here and i can see the same thing there's like scope and rifle and then let's see there's previews i haven't quite gotten uber zug previews working quite right which is interesting but, oh, if we go back to the integrations, someone even put together, like, a script to let you browse YouTube videos using LF. Basically, it just downloads a bunch of thumbnails, lets you preview them, and then runs, spins up the video and whatever when you're done. But if we go back and I believe, was it? No tips it was tips yes it was okay so even the tips have things that you can add to your lfrc or things like that um showing progress for moving or copying files <clears throat> create like i mean some of this it's just like running a command and mapping it to a key combination but then this is the one I was looking for was bulk rename. They have a couple variations of doing it, including using VimV to do it. But I went with like this janky one that still uses Vim, but still works pretty well. So if I pick the right window and I go vim.config lfrc, so you can see that I've got the bulk rename here, and all I've done is I've added basically the rename stuff. I've added RB for um, rename bulk to it so that it'll just run this up. It'll open an instance of Vim and then let me rename all of them in one go. Oh, and then recent and last night in the process, I did also add other archiving shortcuts so that I don't have to think about that for like zipping stuff up or tarring things or just extracting anything because I hadn't had that for a while. And then I also added BGB because I've been using BGB a little bit more recently in streams. But LF is really, really extendable. And again, you can do the home directories thing, go home, go ba 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 ba. So... I don't have Vim keys and Fire Dragon <laughs> installed. Oh. And then it's got a whole bunch of other things. So, I mean, really, the integrating something new or from here, if you're just looking for ideas, is actually really, really easy. So if we... I don't think I want to do bookmarking. Let's go with... Pass in the clipboard. Actually. Okay, it uses X clip here. Mm. Oh, 
Okay, so I li I actually kind of like this one. So the integration for it is pretty simple. So we can just go in here, copy. And then if we go back to the LFRC, um, I think I want to, yeah, we'll just, okay. So I'm going to get rid of that because I want to do something different. So let me go back over here. N is not mapped to anything. So what we're going to do So we'll go map n f to new fold. And then let's see. I yeah, I did that right. So what should happen now when I go over to a new one? I can go in here and if I'm organizing things, maybe I have those items and I want to go new folder. Uh, okay, okay, okay. See, I thought I did it right, but you know. I didn't double check that. Um That's right. Doc Show me your default keybinds, buddy. Okay. Are you kidding me, buddy? Okay. Quick reference. So yeah, N is mapped to the next one for search next. So what we want to do, and then shift N is. So let me double check. Do we have A available to us then? Yes, we do actually. Let's go to the right window. Okay, so we're going to try that again. <laughs> so we go A, F, and we put in the folder name, and it adds a folder. So it's moved all those files into the folder and it took us like minus the time it took us to um, figure out that I was being stupid. Um, it really didn't take us long to add that in. So the next thing we can do if we want to for, I guess, reasons okay so i don't want to go okay 
So we'll add mm, integrations. Do, do, do. So what do we have on this one? I think we can add another one. Okay, so let's do that one. Come on, buddy. I copy. There we go. That's a good boy. <sighs> Okay, and then we can go map EF, and that was FZF jump. And then all we do is we go back, we do that, and then we can go EF and, and we can jump around and search around. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So again, it's really n not hard. So like, again, EF projects, EF QMK. And now I'm in my QMK folder without really thinking about it or anything else. So normally I'd be doing like forward slash search, enter. Okay, there it is. Sometimes I have to do next a couple of times, but now that just means it's like EF Boom, and then type it in what I searched and boom, 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 for the most part. There might be some arrow keys depending on what I'm looking for, but yeah. So, I mean, again, not hard. You watch me do it in like two seconds. So, yeah, I will. If you found this helpful, you know, that kind of a thing, um, let me know by adding comments and what all in down below links and cool stuff are in the description i should add the lf like link to it in the documentation but i will see you guys later